A British man who's been fighting so-called Islamic State in Syria has been killed while clearing landmines in Raqqa, the BBC understands. Former IT worker Jack Holmes, who was 24 and from Bournemouth, had been fighting with Kurdish militia since 2015. Well, our correspondent Emma Vardy is here with me now. And Emma, just remind us about Jack Holmes and the circumstances in which he went out to Syria. Well, we first began talking to Jack Holmes in early 2015. He was perhaps an unlikely candidate to go to fight IS. He was a 22-year-old former IT worker, as you say, from Bournemouth. No prior military experience. But like many people, he started following the Syrian war, not through the BBC news cameras, but through social media. And he uh, watched the Kurdish units who were fighting IS on the ground, took a great interest, did his own research, uh, and then travelled of his own accord um, out to Iraq and over the border in to Syria. That's where he joined a YPG training camp and he then went on to fight with the Kurds uh, three times. And what do we understand? We understand that he's been killed. What about the circumstances? Well, the battle for Raqqa came to an end last week and Jack had been very much involved in that. He was part of this four-man sniper team and been, had been fighting uh, to liberate Raqqa for a number of months. Uh, but in the aftermath, what we're hearing is that there were some operations going on to help make areas safe so that civilians could perhaps come back. Of course, the city is devastated. IS has left behind many booby traps, many mines. We understand it was during one of these mine-clearing operations uh, that Jack was killed, but only very few details coming through at the moment. Some details relayed from the YPG to some Kurdish representatives uh, that the BBC spoke to last night. And those are the circumstances, as we understand it, rather a cruel twist, uh, because Jack had been there for nearly three years, had fought to the very end in Raqqa, um, and sadly lost his life uh, just yesterday. And there have been tributes paid to him on social media, haven't there? That's yeah. right. Emma, thank you.